Fine then. So I was saying that we are going to discuss about one particular module called as tax, or it can also be called as sales tax. I mean, depending upon the jurisdiction, sales tax or VAT tax. At only not VAT tax. Okay, VAT sales tax or VAT. So it depends on the country. In India, we call it as GST. In other countries, they call it as sales tax. In some other countries, they maintain it as value-added tax. What is tax, guys? Most of us should be aware of what is tax. Duty or charge levied by the government on trade in the business. So either you buy goods or sell goods, so government will charge you some taxes and you have to account the taxes and pay it to the government. Maybe sometimes you receive the taxes, sometimes you pay the taxes on the goods that you are buying and selling. And at the, at the end, the net amount, if you have to pay more, you have to settle it with the government. It's not just only the taxes on the goods and services. Sometimes uh, there will be also taxes levied on some other miscellaneous services as well. So there will be charges on the uh, there will be taxes that has to be paid by the business on the employees income which the business have to deduct and pay it to the government so which we call it tds or income tax and there would be many taxes depending upon the country the locality state region municipality taxes would vary and differ so in US, they have federal tax system, federal taxes, state taxes, province taxes. You can write them down in US and Canada. It's a kind of same system. Federal, state, province, then municipality, city taxes also they might have. But as it comes to India, we have few. What are the taxes that we have in India, guys? GST, TDS, TCS, then. So within GST, we have a lot of components and segments again. SGST, CGST, we have, IGST, we have, and components driving those SGST, CGST, IGST, we have separately again. Then TDS, TCS, and what else we have? Uh, we have import uh, duties, I think, for exports. I don't think we have any charges. In import duty, we have few things again. You know, called as custom duty as well as uh, something else i'm not really aware of what is there in between the components and uh, coming to various other countries it would differ so this particular module tax would depend upon the primary address of the legal entity that you would select during the creation of legal entity so when you create the legal entity the address that you would select would be the it would bring up the localization specific features for that particular country into the legal entity so dynamics have the diversity of different different features or the localization options that are available for different countries so not not the tax structure would be different from various uh, from country to country so that's what i'm saying dynamics would provide you various options to maintain the taxes but the configuration part would be similar for all the localizations most of the localization the configuration is similar except some localization they might have some additional features to be added or additional configurations to be done according to their additional requirements okay let us focus on the generic tax configuration which is common for all the localizations how we configure the uh, the basic setup and then how the taxes would be applicable and accounted we'll see now in this particular module of tax okay and what else we have to there is a concept called as sales tax direction there are two types of taxes one is sales tax payable another one is sales tax receivable so when sales tax payable come into picture and when sales tax receivable will come into picture sales tax payable will come in picture during the time of sales or in once a receivable module 
sales tax receivable will come into the picture at the time of purchase or procurement. So this is in accounts payable. So why sales tax payable is at the sales time and sales tax receivable is accounted at the purchase time. See at the time of purchase when we buy any goods from any vendor, we have to pay the taxes to the vendor. So vendor vendor will collect the tax from us and vendor will pay it to the authority or the government. So I can't call it as government. We can say it as authority or that particular authority who controls the tax structure in that country. So vendor will pay that amount of tax collected from the business to the authority. So that what that's that is what we would record as sales tax receivable because we paid it to the authority. We can receive it back into our business again in, in case if it has to be received as a refund, we can receive it. So we will record it as sales tax receivable. Coming to the sales part, you will sell goods to the customers and you will collect the taxes from the customers. Once you collect the tax from the customers, you are liable to pay it to the authority. So that is why you will record it as sales tax payable. OK, so that's the tax direction that we have. There are only two directions in tax, either payable or receivable. That is one on sales and another one on purchase. So let me know if you have any confusion in this or if you want me to repeat once again this concept of direction. So then this would come into picture. I mean the payables and receivable at the time of sales tax payable and sales tax receivable at the time of the creation of sales orders and purchase orders and at the time of creation of various journals. So if you select a customer account, this will come into picture automatically. If you select a vendor account, this will come into picture automatically. So system would automatically pick up the direction of tax depending upon the nature of the transaction that you are going to perform. And if you want to change it or force the system, you can do that, but not a good practice though. But we'll see how we can proceed with the so that we would see in the operation part how we can apply taxes and how it is evaluated. OK. And then so we also have another tax called as withholding tax. We'll discuss it uh, later in our course. So withholding taxes. Need anyone withholding taxes? So we in India we have TDS and TCS. These are withholding taxes where you will withhold the tax with the business which you have to pay and you will later pay it to the authority. So regarding this withholding tax concept, we'll discuss further. First we'll discuss on sales tax. I mean the concept of sales tax. Later we'll go back to the withholding tax in our course. OK. Now we have some basic setups that has to be done in the sales tax module in order to work with the sales tax. So how sales tax can be applied? How uh, I mean in order to the apply the sales tax or take it into operation, there are some basic configuration that has to be done. So one is that I'll just note down sales tax authority creation. Sales tax authority. Then sales tax. Which we have then. Then what all we have? Um, let's say posting groups we have. That. Sales tax groups. Sales tax groups. So that would be all. So these are the six configuration that we have to do in order to operate sales tax in this particular legal entity. So let's see what how we configure them and what we have. Then in this actually. First let's discuss about sales tax authority creation. So what is sales tax authority guys? A government institute or a government regulated authority which would be handled by government, but it's not the government. So in India we have GST authority which would control the tax rates and collection of taxes and who is responsible for the others. Uh, 
trade related taxes collection as well as refunds so we also have income tax authority which is again different so it is different and they will collect the income tax related taxes and they would when you file a refund they will refund the amounts so they have their own website and they have their unique authority authorization so again for other taxes like import duties so there is another authority customs so depends for each uh, for each kind of tax in one country there can be different different authorities okay and there can be only one authority in some countries which would control the entire tax system right so in india also we have something called as gst gst is a authority right gst authority is one we have so under gst authority we have gst tax structure again we have income tax authority or tds authority under which we have tds tax structure so we will see that part in a while so before to that we'll discuss this one how to create an authority and how to bring it into operation okay so in order to create a gst authority in the tax module you have to go to tax module here in tax you have there is this in setup you will have sales tax i'm sorry it should be here itself everything will be here in under indirect taxes under sales tax you have sales tax authorities here sales tax settlement periods here and sales tax code sales tax groups item sales tax, everything here except one so that would be here ledger posting groups so that will be under setup except that remaining all configurations the five of them are here the sixth one is here okay first let us see this one sales tax authorities so under tax indirect taxes sales tax and we have sales tax authorities so let me click on sales tax authorities here So when you click on sales tax authorities, see we don't have any. Let's create one. So we'll call it as GST authority. Authority identification code is is also GST, right? We have unique code for GST. Okay. Then you can link a vendor to the GST authority. so you if you don't link the vendor also it would be okay but if you link a vendor so it would generally raise an invoice at the end for the net amount of taxes payable and receivable which we would see further in the course and during the settlement so i would like to link a vendor to this particular authority and we'll see I'm not going to link the an existing vendor i'll create a tax vendor quickly so it would take a while to load spare with it I'll click on you to create a vendor. Just keep mass GST authority. Then group. you have this vendor in many legal entities so just asking for a match so i'll call it as i'll keep it in the domestic vendors or if i have set of tax authorities i can keep them under one group called as tax vendors group up to me then there won't be any you can give net terms of payment if you want uh, if you don't have any as such you don't have to and other details of the vendor you can give addresses also like the address of the vendor where it is located and where you can approach and the website of the authority as well as the details phone numbers or any other things you can give here configure the same i'm not going to configure anything i'll just go back and the vendor is created here i'll just copy it on the vendor 
go back again to the sales tax page here i'll map the vendor to the authority so now this particular vendor is linked to the authority so at the end we will see how this particular vendor will come into picture when we settle the taxes at the period end okay then report layout so there are reports based upon the country's uh, requirements see so norway english swedish german us most prominent is us and german or default so we'll select us report layout here where for generating the report at the end of sales tax settlement then you can also find the rounding of taxes how do you want to round the net taxes at the end normal downwards upwards or one advantage one advantage means payables will be rounded backwards receivables will be rounded forward as an advantage but anyway you have you have accurate numbers with the authority so better to go with a normal rounding and if you want to round it up to next 10 cents you can keep next 10 and you can add address to the authority here so this address the address that you give it the vendor place will not come up here automatically you have to add your own address here at the authority level if you have to so you can add authority address you can add the local address and not the main address so call it as gst authority something something just click on okay then you can give the telephone number extension mobile numbers and fax sms internet address and telex numbers so not compulsory but you can maintain this additional information on the vendor sorry on the tax authority that you have created so now i'll save this tax authority done so this is how we create a tax authority for the purpose of so which i mean under this particular authority taxes will be calculated further